If you're watching this, that means that one of the biggest shoots of my career has actually happened. It worked. So this is the behind the scenes video. I literally just got off the phone with a representative of Paramount and we're going to be trying to replicate a shot from the Transformers movie. Now, this means lighting, this means getting a Porsche, this means location scouting. So fortunately, I have a buddy who actually works in a factory. He works in the crypto space. So we're going to go check out that factory right now and see if that place is going to work for our hopefully future photo shoot. <laughs> then we've got to source a Porsche, then we've got to source the gear to make that shot happen. So this is going to be a pretty large project and I'm going to bring you guys along behind the scenes. If you haven't seen the initial video, go check it out up here or you can watch this one first and then go watch it. All right, so I think one of these factories here is where we're going. I have never been here before, so we are going to be trying to replicate this shot on screen here. I'm gonna be looking for a nice wall I can use, maybe a door opening, potentially some windows in the backdrop that we can light up, but we might have to get creative. I don't have a lot of resources in terms of like finding a factory kind of thing that I can use. So let's go check this place out and see if it will work for our photo so this here this could be a possibility light rays coming through that window that window have the porsche parked here we've got that door open this truck can be moved which is nice but if we parked the car oh, wrong way back here well this was freaking cool this factory is absolutely insane uh, i think we've got like two three four options so i'm gonna have to go do a little bit of pre-production see which ones are the best maybe easiest so they don't have to move a bunch of stuff around uh, but still very very cool so i'm excited to see how we make this work as a part of my pre-production i took these photos of where i thought we might be able to place the car and then sent these photos to the owner of the space to see what was possible he said we can move anything you want we like doing cool stuff he didn't say stuff but you know what i mean All right, so hopefully we just got a location sorted out. Now we are at the local Porsche dealership just to see if they wanna work with me on this project. Why not ask and see what happens? They've got some amazing, beautiful cars here. So I'm gonna go take a quick peek at the dealership because I just love Porsches. And then uh, we'll chat with the people here to see if they wanna be a part of the project. If not, we'll have to look at some private owners. I had a quick chat and caught up with the marketing department and they were really excited about the idea, but had to pass it up to the powers that be. So I had to wait a little bit and see what they thought. As amazing as it would be to get one of these uh, Turbo S's, I don't think we'll get one of those. But hey, why not show up to Porsche, see if they want to participate in what we got going on. So I just asked the guys here and I'll also reach out to some private owners that I know just in case it doesn't work out. Long story short, Porsche was on board and they wanted to lend us the 911 Turbo S. It is shoot day today and I'm getting all the gear ready that I need for the shoot. So making lists, going to get rentals today because I need some like lights and scrims, things I can put in front of the lights to create an extremely soft light source. So I actually am going to connect with some friends who I'm gonna borrow some stuff from and if we can't get everything from there, I'm gonna head to the local camera store to get some rentals and then we'll be heading to Porsche Center Calgary at five o'clock to pick up the car and do some filming on location there. I've honestly never been so excited and so nervous for a shoot at the same time. I just feel like the stakes are high, you know? Like, this is the biggest thing I've ever done. It's scary. <laughs> so it is 3 at 12. I'm going to pick up the Porsche at five o'clock at Porsche Center Calgary. This is the gear that I'm using today. So I'm gonna be using the Lumix S52X to capture the photo. I've got my 85 mil, my 35 mil, free will adapters, variable NDs. I've got some step up rings because the guy who's filming tonight, Aaron, he uh, has a 67 mil thread and a 72 mil thread and all of these ND filters or 82 mil. I've got all my other gear here prepped. I've got all my like light stands and tripods in a bag over there. I'm bringing my Blue Eddy just in case we've got to do any mobile power solutions out there. I've got my 120 bicolor light with the soft dome for any behind the scenes stuff. And then I've got my buddy Mark who's coming to do all the lighting stuff. So he's gonna bring his lighting, the big stuff that we can do. Um, I've got diffusion and all those things picked up. Fingers crossed, hopefully we can get it really dark in that warehouse and then we can create our own lighting for the Porsche. There's definitely something to be said about shooting above your weight class possibly. I mean, I've done this type of lighting with humans before. 
never with cars and never in such a large environment. So I'm very curious to see how well it turns out. There's definitely nerves, a little bit of fear involved, but excitement, because I mean, we're shooting a Porsche in a massive warehouse. So what an opportunity, and I'm glad you guys are coming along. Hopefully you guys can learn a thing or two. The last thing I'll share with you guys before we go is I had to fill out like a really big outline for Paramount Pictures and the Transformers Rise of the Beast. I did have to plan that whole video out for them in advance so that they knew what I was gonna film and it would be approved in advance. So pretty crazy working with the brand in that way but really great learning curve and the people that I've been working with and talking with, very, very cool, very easy to work with. For those of you who are looking to kind of build a brand of yourself or automotive photography or working with brands on YouTube, uh, drop some comments down below. Hopefully I can answer some questions for you. We just pulled up to Porsche Center Calgary to pick up the car. We've got our first friendly creator with us, Davey Gravy. I'll link him down below. But we're gonna go pick up the car and maybe do a little bit of shooting in the basement as well. We are in the basement of Porsche Center Calgary to pick up the beautiful Porsche 911 992 Turbo S, which is right here. So we're actually gonna try and recreate some of the shots from the Transformers intro, where the guy gets into the car and then he says, Transformers Autobots, you know, roll out or whatever they say. Uh, so we're just gonna try and recreate some of those shots here. We just captured the actual cinema content. What do you think? Let us know in the comments down below. If you haven't seen the full video, go check it out. I'll link it up here for you. Now we're finally bringing the Porsche to our final location and it all just looks pretty badass here. It all just looks amazing. You said pull this out. MR and stay back at the door. I press down. What? Now that feels like the Hunger Games. Or what's that other one where they go up the elevator? Saw. Saw. Ah. <laughs> We're all loaded up. I'm hopping in the Jetta with Aaron because we're gonna try and see if we can get some rolling shots of the Porsche on the way to the factory. I don't know if we'll use them, but hey, content's content. Got my handy dandy walkie talkies. We'll see you guys at the factory, which is so exciting. Here we've got Mark. Yo! Mark's helping me with all the lighting. So he's our like grip, gaff, light tech today, which is great. I'm so grateful for everyone that came and showed up to help me with this shoot, whether it's behind the scenes, lighting, uh, taking photos or videos. It was so much fun to have all my favorite people here on the shoot. So we have officially got the lighting dialed in. We've taken a bunch of photos and behind the scenes stuff. This is the part where I'm gonna actually start filming the real YouTube video. So if you haven't watched that yet, go check out the link up here. We're still waiting for the sun to go down. It's still a crack, crack to light out. Can't believe this is actually happening and that like we're able to light this like a cinema movie. Now, I reached out to a friend of mine who recently just died from eating a Skittle. It was pretty crazy. <laughs> Shooting this wildly expensive Porsche 911 Turbo S. We're filming it. So it is 11 p.m. We are in the final stages of recreating this photo that you guys have hopefully already seen. We're all pretty tired. So many of the batteries are dying. This has been one of the, well, hands down, it's been the biggest photo shoot of my life. So it's kind of taken a lot of people to make this happen. So I'm super grateful for everyone that has been a part of this. Obviously, Porsche Center Calgary for providing the car and for CryptoTherm for providing us this absolutely incredible one of one space. We would not have been able to do that without the team. I'm super proud of this photo. I'm so stoked on how this turned out. I still gotta drive that Porsche home, so you might wanna stick around for that. Mark, you ready with the door? Ready. All right, we're gonna take the final shot. Here we go. Okay, do it. It looks insane though. What have we done? I'm sweaty. That was so much work. It was a ton of work. We did it. Thanks to you. Behind the screen. I'm so tired. <laughs> Can you hear it in my voice? <laughs> We're currently driving the Porsche home. There is no car I've ever experienced that is this amazing. This car is amazing. 
boy. That was a cop. It's the end of the night. I am dropping the, the Porsche back off at Porsche Center Calgary. One thing I'll tell you is that there's no car I've ever driven that is this fun. Uh, absolutely bonkers. So fast. So good looking. This is absolutely one of my dream cars. And I hope you guys learned something from this. Honestly, it was one of the biggest videos I've done, stretching myself to do something that I've never really done like this big. So really grateful for all the partners and people and creatives that came to make this actually happen. And I'm really hoping that when I get back home, the photo turned out well. <laughs> so we still have that. Uh, so stay tuned guys. Thank you so much for all your love, all your support. Like Aaron said, this wouldn't happen without you guys. So I'm incredibly grateful. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye, my beautiful friend. Until we meet again.